What's going on YouTube, GSNO right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the phone rescue application in order to do data recovery from iOS, from backups or directly from the device, which is actually pretty simple. You can even do recovery from iCloud if you want to. Now the program is available on the iMobi website. It's called phone rescue and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. So let's see exactly what it can do. Now after you get it, if you get it for the Mac, you're going to get a DMG file, which looks like this. You press the phone rescue Rescue installer app and it will install right away bringing you the icon here on the system so when you open it it looks like this if you have a device connected it shows you this but if you don't have a device connected it says please connect your device so once you connect your device as you can see it gets detected in here it says geosnow's ipod and you have two options here data recovery and device rescuer the device rescuer part repairs the ios device if it's broken for example it's no longer powering on it shows a white screen black screen blue screen Screen, the Apple logo, it boot loops, it shows recovery mode, it doesn't really matter. The tool can usually fix it. The supported scenarios are shown in here, for example, iOS upgrade failure, white, blue, black screen of death, iOS device keeps restarting, and it's stuck in various modes. Then you also have the remove lock screen passcode if you forgot it, or the device is disabled due to too many failed attempts, or you are unable to unlock the device due to broken screen, and so on. And then you also have recovered screen time passcode. If you set a screen time passcode for some reason or somebody pranked you and set it up on your device which can actually be pretty limiting you can actually recover it with no problem but on the data recovery side you can recover data deleted or lost directly from the device if the device is broken and unresponsive or if the device screen is damaged and you cannot access it physically on the device but the phone actually powers on you can also recover data from a backup or from iCloud if you do have those I'm going to select recover from backup press the arrow here here. and as you can see the program managed to find one backup for my device on iOS 13.3 I'm gonna press up in here and it says in here data comparison by comparing the data on your connected device with the selected iTunes backup you can easily find the missing data and recover them to the device without a full system restoration so you can select only scan backup or you can compare I'm gonna do a comparison and I'm gonna press ok here and as you can see it says analyzing your device so at this point the program will analyze what's on my phone compared to what I have in the backup so it says analyzing your backup we're going to wait for it to complete and at this point it says comparing so yeah you can actually see that all the photos are in here and it shows that basically everything is in here so now we can restore this whole backup with everything that I used to have back to the device so I'm gonna press the little device button here you can also save them to your computer if you want to it says in here data recovery completed and you can see the folder where the photos have been exported so if you want to have them outside of the backup you can definitely do so but what if I want to put them back on my phone well let's see I'm gonna select again the backup only scan the backup and at this point I should be able to see exactly what photos I have and I should be able to restore them back to the phone so you can see I also have my phone numbers here but I also want the photos so here they are and I'm gonna press send them to the device it says in here your device will reboot upgrade the configuration and require it to unlock this is necessary and completely safe for the recovery please wait patiently and don't unplug the device and this is showing you what exactly will be restored back to your phone so I'm gonna press recover and that's it at this point it says don't unplug the device the device may reboot a couple of times and at this point the waiting game begins now since there is not a lot of data in there it takes only a couple of minutes but if you have a lot of data like thousands of photos and so on it may take more time now it says preparing the device data and at this point my device rebooted and that's it all the data should be there so I'm waiting for the device to actually reboot and completely restore and as you can see the device came back online it says your geos now iPod is connected so this time I'm gonna do a recover from iOS device I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna scan for absolutely everything so you can see it only takes a couple of seconds and it starts doing the procedure now this may take a while if you have a lot of data on it but if you don't it should be pretty quickly and as you can see the analyzing procedure has begun it probably does some sort of back up in the background so you can see all the contacts all my safari bookmarks 
all my notes and that's probably from Fortnite and all the pictures which are now on the device. So this is actually pretty cool. Now there is also the recover from iCloud if you have an iCloud account but unfortunately I do not have any iCloud account and I do not use iCloud. However if you do you can sign in into your account and see exactly what you have backed up in there. They do not retain any of your Apple ID credentials and they only send them to Apple. You can also scan previously downloaded iCloud backup files without logging in. However, I do not have any iCloud files. Now that's basically how you do it. That's how you recover from backups and that's how you recover directly from the device. It's as simple as that. You can select what you want to find and of course as you can see here there is a lot of data that can be recovered including call history, contacts, notes, photos and everything. So I was able to get the photos pretty quickly and if your device is broken this tool can also fix it. And they also have a guide available on how to use the program here on their website. They also give you the information about what the trial does versus the registered version because yes there is also a free version available which allows you to scan your data and preview it so that you can see exactly what you can recover before even buying the tool. And they also give you the information about how to use the tool itself. So basically they have a comprehensive guide in here and if you still need help after this you press in here and you can connect to the support and you can tell them what problem you have so you can get personalized help so yeah that's basically it check out phone rescue in the description down below i'm geosnow until the next time peace out